The Brexit vote, the victory of Trump and the political crisis in Italy. All these events did not achieve to slow down global activity last year. Instead, the world economy has entered 2017 on a sound footing. Economic data have broadly surprised on the upside recently. That said, political uncertainties will remain high over the next month. Elections in the Netherlands, France, Germany and maybe even Italy may test European unity. And Brexit negotiations are said to be very tough. Yet the biggest uncertainties currently arise from the US. Markets celebrated the victory of Donald Trump with a rise in global equities by 6%. Concerns about geopolitical risks and protectionism have been brushed aside. The hopes that the President Trump would act more predictably than the candidate Trump have been disappointed. In fact, Trump does not appear scared about moving closer to a trade war with Mexico and China. So far, the global economy looks resilient enough to weather such uncertainties. Labor markets and domestic demand in the advanced economies are recovering. But firms, consumers and investors are still vulnerable to a hangover if the new president continues to test the limits of global trade, migration and geopolitics. We are still confident that global activity will hold up decently, but the risks from US politics have clearly increased. While protectionism and geopolitical tensions are big risks, the strongest hopes among investors still relate to corporate tax cuts under Donald Trump, which are also supported by Republicans in Congress. Unfortunately, few details have been agreed upon so far. The boldest proposals envisage a cut in the corporate tax rate combined with a shift in the tax base from corporate income to cash flow. Investment spending would be fully deductible immediately, while interest payment would no longer be privileged. The cuts in taxations are likely to benefit investment activity and business sentiment. The strongest impact, however, may arise from a so-called border-adjusted tax. Plans pursued by key Republican representatives envisage exempting exports completely from taxation, while imports would no longer be deductible. The results of the border adjustment tax would be a meaningful rise in the US dollar, adding to the gains seen over recent years. The exchange rate adjustment could likely only partially compensate for higher import and lower export prices. US inflation would rise, increasing the pressures on the Fed to hike rates. The stronger US dollar and the risk to global trade would weigh most strongly on emerging markets, in particular those with high trade exposure to the US and high dollar-denominated debt. Even without a border-adjusted tax, the Fed is on track to hike rates more meaningfully this year. US inflation will stay above 2%, while an increasingly tighter labor market is pushing up wages. We expect the Fed to hike rates three times this year. This is faster than the MER2 hikes currently discounted by markets. What is more, the Fed may decide to tighten even faster if the Trump administration delivers on the promise of a big fiscal stimulus via infrastructure spending and tax cuts. As long as Trump's policy measures are primarily targeted at stimulating growth, risky assets may weather the Fed's rate hikes decently since stronger economic data will back sentiment. U.S. government bonds, conversely, will suffer amid rising yields. However, if the fiscal stimulus is combined with strong protectionist measures, global risk sentiment will be more vulnerable. With the result may be renewed concerns about the fate of China and emerging markets, which just a year ago were at the heart of global market turmoil. We still think that the positives may prevail and see some value in European equities and corporate bonds. But the sharp increase in US political risks warrants a cautious approach to raising exposure to risky assets over the coming weeks. Thank you for your attention. We will keep you posted.